Hey gang, welcome, it's uh, Todd Nock, and welcome to my Periscope uh, channel. Glad you're here, glad y'all could join me. I finished my Spider-Man work for the day, got a little bit of a commission done, and now I thought I'd just do something for fun and uh, finish this uh, Batgirl piece. I did as a Periscope broadcast, uh, was it a month or two ago? So I promised y'all that I would do the watercolors for this on Periscope, so true to my word, we're back, and we're gonna do some watercolor on uh, on uh, Batgirl there. So I'll plug into the rig now. I'll do my best to answer your questions if I can. I cannot promise I can answer everyone's questions. I probably won't be able to answer most of your questions because as always, I'll be focused on the art. But feel free to post. If I get a chance to answer, I'll do my best to, to answer as best I can. So uh, thanks for your patience. Thanks for hanging out and uh, let's get to the art. I'm gonna clip into my rig here and hopefully be able to still see what y'all are posting. All right. Get the T-square up out of the way and readjust my camera. There we go, how's that looking? Now I've already pre-mixed uh, up some of my watercolors here. Uh, I got some flesh tones, uh, the flesh tone over here, the hair, kind of her red hair here, and then a lot of purple for her costume because the majority of it is purple. Some colors I'll have to make up as we go, like for the, the yellows of her costume, kind of get the right shades of yellow I want. So I won't be doing a lot of mixing on this video here, at least not initially. So um, um, let's get started. Now I'm seeing already some questions about c conventions. That's a popular topic here on my uh Periscope channel. Uh, someone asked if I'll be at C2E2. Yes, I will be at C2E2. I'm making my return to C2E2 this uh, this March in just a few weeks, and I have a lot more of my uh, um, uh, what are they called? Um, <laughs> convention dates. Thank you. There we go. Convention dates posted on toddknock.com. Uh, I still have maybe four, at least four more dates to announce for 2016. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll be coming to a city near you. And as always, I mention this in every broadcast, if there's a, uh, a, a convention near you that you would hope to see me at, feel free to let that convention know, uh, promoter know you'd like to see me as a guest at that convention and maybe they'll extend me an invitation and I'll show up in your neck of the woods. All right, so this uh, t shade of flesh tone I've come up with is a bit too orangey for my taste, so I'm gonna work some more uh, white paint in here and more water to try to lighten it up a bit. All right, I'm liking this a bit better. Still a bit intense, but I'll uh, kind of lighten it up with some paper towel dabbing. Have I done a coloring book uh, cover, variant cover yet? No, I haven't, but that would be fun to do. That would be a lot of fun to do. Hopefully I'll get a chance to do that at some point. Right now I've been very busy with my Spider-Man deadlines, and uh, speaking of Spider-Man, little uh, plug here, uh, my new Spider-Man comic, Spider-Man and Silk, The Spider-Fly Effect, issue one comes out this Wednesday, Wednesday, March 2nd. So uh, be sure to get to your comic shop and uh, Grab a copy, and if they're sold out, make sure you ask your comic shop owner to uh, see if they can order one for you. Might still be some at the warehouse, so uh, so do do make sure you don't miss that. Do make sure you don't. That's an odd way of saying it, but hey, whatever gets the job done.
Any chance I'll be at St. Louis? Uh, unfortunately, I won't be at the St. Louis Comic Con this year. My convention dates, appearance dates between now and May are pretty much locked in. So if you don't see your city listed through May on ToddKnock.com, then unfortunately I probably won't be hitting your neck of the woods this year. What brush do I usually use? I use a series of Winsor & Newton brushes that I picked up at an art supply store. And uh, I use, right now I'm using the university brushes. Right now I'm using the five. Oops, didn't mean to slide off the page there, or out of camera frame. Just trying to rosy up her nose just the way, just to the degree that I want. So, uh, so let's, uh, while the flesh tones dry, let's uh, drop in some hair color. What are my thoughts on Batman vs. Superman? It looks like it could be interesting. I know tickets went on sale for that today. Hopefully I'll get a chance to get out and see it. What are your thoughts on Batman vs. Superman? Have I tried the iPad Pro and Pencil? No, I haven't, but I want to. As soon as I get a break, I plan to uh, swing by an Apple store and give it a whirl, see what I think about it, because I'd like to try more digital illustration, try to work that into my daily work practices, see if that can help me save some time. What do I use for digital art? I don't. I don't do digital art right now. I'm, I'm looking to experiment with that. Been asking my fellow art friends what they use. A lot seem. A lot of them seem to be using the Cintiq Companion 2. A few use the iPad Pro. At least on the road, they'll use the iPad Pro. So, um, so I'm looking to learn some more about that and maybe get a device in the not too distant future. But I currently do not do any digital illustration. Oops, slid off of the camera frame there. See, so I wanna make a little bit of a darker shade of That girl's red hair here for a little, some shadowy areas. 
So I worked in a little little brown and a little, I haven't gone to the black yet, I don't want to go there yet. I use the Wacom Pro? Okay. Oh, Freddie Williams, he's awesome. I'll have to add that one to my list of t tablets or digital art hardware to test out. What kind of watercolors am I using? I'm using, uh, woo, sorry there, didn't mean to bump the camera, Grumbacher Academy. Pick this up at Aaron Brothers. Oops, slid off the camera frame again. Apologize, gang. Do I do pre-orders for conventions? I'm assuming you're inquiring about pre-order co uh, commissioned art. And unfortunately, it is very, very, very rare that I can do pre-con pre commissions. Usually I'm working on deadlines all the way up until uh, convention time. So it's, it's very rare that I, I'm able to, to do that. What paper am I using? I'm using some Canson uh, watercolor paper. It's a recycled um, art board from Canson, C-A-N-S-O-N. What's my average time for a full pencil page? Good question. I that it's hard to say what my average time is but on average I pencil and ink one page a day in total so I, I since I do my own inks I don't have to pencil as tightly so I can leave more of that art up for the uh, inking stage a lot of those choices at the inking stage How do I ink with smooth li smooth lines? Uh, a lot of practice. A lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Just developing that control and that uh, confidence through practice. It just takes a lot of bad lines to get to where you're doing the good lines or lines you that that you're liking. All right, let's check into some, uh, adding some purple here. Okay, it's coming out way too dark. Need to add more water to the paint. Stab that away first. Don't know where to put the thick and thin lines. Well, um, kind of a basic rule of thumb for thick and thin lines is the thick lines convey shadow, where the thin lines will convey more um, where the uh, light source is hitting 
the uh, the character. Now that's just a basic rule of thumb. Doesn't mean it's that, that way every time. So consider where your light source is. Keep the lighter, thinner lines on one side of the of the piece of the character, and put the thicker lines on the opposite side. For the most part. Now that's going to be a, take a lot of trial and error, a lot of practice, a lot of study to figure out when it needs to be thick and thin. But that's kind of a rule of, rule of thumb to kind of get you started to thinking in, in that direction. Who's my favorite superhero? Uh, Kitty Pride. Long time Periscope viewers are probably very aware of that. Um, because that's not an un uncommon question, and Kitty Pride is not an uncommon answer <laughs> from me. Also a big Bo Booster Gold fan as well. So those two are my favorite heroes. My favorite hero to draw? Kitty Pride. I think she's awesome. Am I ready for civil? civil uh, am I ready for civil war? Easy for me to say. Is anyone ever ready for civil war? When you think about it, I'm very. I'm looking forward to civil war. I think it'll be a really fun movie. When will I come back to Texas? I hope someday soon. I love coming out to the cons out in Texas. My opinion on comic reboots? They can be cool. As long as we're uh, getting good stories. It's just kind of a... You know, thing that happens, so... I'm all about good stories. Do I like country music? Uh, I like some country music. I like Darius Rucker, formerly of Hootie and the Blowfish. He's, he's a big country star now. But I don't listen to a lot of country music. But I'm not against country music. Do you like country music? Do I ever find it difficult mentally visualizing a comic book panel for a scene? Sometimes. Sure. The way I see coming up with those panels is it's a uh, it's a puzzle, and sometimes the puzzle is challenging. So sometimes it takes extra thought and effort and consideration to figure out that puzzle. So yeah, it's not unheard of for it to be um, difficult or a challenge. You have a hard time doing appealing poses? Uh, try drawing from real life, study real life. A lot of it is study and practice and knowing that you gotta just keep at it and you're gonna have, do a lot of cruddy drawings before they start to get good. So, uh, so just keep practicing, just keep at it. it. I mean, it really, there's, I don't really know of a better piece of advice than continued study and practice. I mean, because that's what I did, and I still do, because my work is, you know, evolving. Or at least I'm trying to evolve whenever I can, but evolution happens slowly in many cases.
move this purple down into the pants. Thanks for the kind words, gang. Appreciate that. Do I use a light box for my drawing? Sometimes. Yeah, I have a light box. Actually, my dad built me a light box back before I broke into the industry. I still use it to this day. And uh, it's he built me a big one because I asked him to build me a big one uh, so I could do double page spreads on it. So sometimes, you know, I'll do a layout, blow it up to 11 by 17. You know, I do a tiny little layout, blow it up to 11 by 17, and then transfer all those shapes onto the light box before I go into the penciling stage. Don't really do that quite as much nowadays, um, but I have that option if I ever need it. So a light box is a great tool to have, especially for transferring layouts. Do I think art is a learnable talent or natural? Yes, yes I do. I think it's a, it can be a little bit of both. I think some people can learn it, but I think um, having an innate talent for it is, is going to be, uh, is, is uh, definitely a blessing. So, um, but I, I'm not to, I'm not going to be one to say that someone can't learn it. If someone wants to learn it bad enough, I think maybe they can. I think everybody's talent is different. Everybody's skills are different, or at least in the comic book community. And, uh, and that's what makes it fun, is you get a wide variety of styles and voices, visual voices, and keeps it fresh. So... So I say, if someone wants to learn art, go for it. Because no matter whether you have talent or you're taking a class to learn how to do it, everyone's got to practice and study, I believe. What I think about the Oscars, I didn't watch the Oscars. Not a big award show kind of guy. I appreciate that there are award shows and that there are people that are really into them. I'm just kind of not one of those people. So I didn't tune into the Oscars last night. But congratulations to everyone who won. How do I approach a, a composition that involves a lot of characters? Uh, so many different factors to consider. But one basic factor I consider is who are the characters? Especially when it's superheroes, what, what, color, what co color costume schemes am I working with? And how do I uh, choose to put those characters on the page? Uh, I wouldn't want all the characters wearing red next to each other. I want to stagger them around so that you, you have different colors represented all throughout the page. All right, so now I'm gonna 
Oh, let's see. I think I need a little more. Where's my red? Sorry, gang. I'm I'm thinking while I'm talking, and that can be a dangerous thing. Need a little more red here to red up this purple a bit for her cowl and pants stripe. If my color reference is accurate. Maybe it doesn't need to be that much of a red tint. Just want it to be a slightly variation, a slight variation of of the uh, bodysuit. Do I like the mystery art challenges? Oh, I definitely do. In fact, my newest, or the newest mystery art challenge I got to be a part of, I should say, is up on Comic Vine right now. So it's a uh, Deadpool and a, and a, and a, and a phone. Telephone, cell phone, artist, artist choice. I drew a cell phone. So those videos are up on Comic Vine right now. So sure, or on YouTube as well. So if you did a search for Mystery Art Challenge, Deadpool, and a, and a phone, you should be able to find it pretty easy. I would think. So, always great to see Tony G-Man Guerrero of Comic Vine at the conventions and participate in his Mystery Art Challenges. Alright, so let's see, I need to get a little blue going here for her eyes. Let's get those eyes squared away. How many hours a week do I spend on my craft? Oh my gosh. Let's see, I do not like that shade of blue. I need to get my other shade of blue going. Uh, how many hours a week do I spend on my craft? It, it's it's incalculable. Or as Michael Scott says, it's incalculable. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's like I spend a lot of hours working, and then I spend a lot of hours studying and playing. So this kind of falls into that study slash play category. All right, I think I like this shade of blue better. I'll lighten it up a little bit. Is there any hero that I haven't done that I would like to? I assume you mean like work on professionally? And yes, that would be Booster Gold. Love to get to do a Booster Gold story or series. Do I have a hobby other than art? Not really. I don't know, maybe watching TV. The occasional karaoke with friends, but 
And pretty much art is my jam. Mixing up a little shadow color for the face. So I just took my flesh tone and added a little, some darker colors to it. Do I stream regularly? Unfortunately, I don't. At least not right now. My work deadlines keep me way too busy to stream on a regular basis. Um, if you have, let's see, someone asked about uh, Australia Supernova. Yeah, feel free to let them know you'd like to see me there as a guest. That goes for anyone, you know, who has a convention in their part of the world. Feel free to let the promoters know me or any of your favorite artists or people you'd like to see at their convention. I'd love to come out to an Australia convention. Let's see, I need to do this on the pant stripes, the shade of purple before I lose it. Do I think Ben Affleck will be a good Batman? Ah, he's looked pretty cool in the trailers. So, there's potential there, for sure. Any tips for mixing flesh tones? Well, it depends on the type of flesh you need to do. I was working on a Caucasian flesh tone here on on Batgirl, so I used some red and some uh, some yellow, a lot of water, and and some white there as well. A little, and so I just mix it up and test it on a separate piece of board to find the right shade. This is my test board here, so you can see the different shades of flesh tone and. Uh, hair color as well as costume color. So when I find the right shade, I will then know to uh, utilize that in my uh, illustration. Uh, there was a question there about uh, watercolors versus Copics, I think someone was kind of asking. Couldn't quite catch the whole thing, unfortunately. I apologize for that. The way my camera is plugged into my rig, it's hard to see the longer questions, but I try to catch them as best I can. Um, so uh, I like both watercolors and Copics. They're two different art mediums, and I like to experiment with different things. So it just all depends on the effect I want to go for. So, so I don't pick one over the other. I just pick the one that I want to do in the moment. Who are some of my favorite comic book writers? Oh my gosh. I like tons of writers from Chris Claremont and Louise Simonson back in the 
early days of my X-Men reading to uh, Dan Slott and uh, Robbie, uh, Robbie Thompson, um, current Spider-Man writers. They are fantastic. So, and everyone in between. I mean, Jeff Johns is great. Seb Wells. Uh, Peter David, working with Peter David on Young Justice and Spider-Man for a lot of years. So I got a lot, a lot of favorite writers as well as artists. So, um, so it's hard to, hard to narrow it down to one or a few. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Let's get some yellow going here. Who's my favorite Doctor Who Doctor? It'd be the 10th Doctor, though I really like the 9th and 11th and 12th and 4th as well. Of course, those are the only ones I've really gotten to see. I haven't gotten to watch many of the other Doctors. But I, I would have but I if I had to say who's my favorite, it's probably going to be the 10th. Who's your favorite doctor? What comic was the most fun to work on? Uh, that's hard to say because I enjoy working on every comic I, I get to do. I'm very thankful for all the opportunities. So, um, so if you look at my history of what I've done, my my resume, from Young Justice to Spider-Man to Nightcrawler to my creator-owned series, Wild, Wild Guard, all a lot of fun and everything in between. So I can't say which one is my favorite. They're all my babies. How long do I let the black dry before I go in with Copic or watercolor? Um, you know, I'd say a decent rule of thumb is about 10, 15 minutes at the very least. Put a piece like this, this uh, Batgirl piece, uh, I this has been sitting off to the side for the past uh, month or more. So, so the blacks on this illustration are very, very, very dry. Different brush? Nope, same type of brush. Same brush I've been using this entire periscope. Am I into any sports? I like the NFL. I like the NBA, but I probably watch more NFL regularly. So, I don't play any sports. But I do like to watch the NFL. Any plans to upload more videos to YouTube? Yes. Yes, I do. At least some Periscope broadcasts are in the queue. So stay tuned to my to my YouTube channel, Todd Knock. Well, yeah, just pretty much Todd Knock. It's my name. So, uh, And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss a video. Have I tried the new topic? Uh, Multiliners. No, I haven't. I have not heard of those yet. Oops, sorry, gang. I look forward to seeing you at C2E2. Come by my table, N, I think it's N18. Just remember N for knock, and then come to table 18, which I think is the end of the row. Thanks for the kind words, gang. Thanks for enjoying my art. Thank you for the support. Oh, hey, Joey. You're at G9, right on. At C2E2. Joey Vasquez, everybody. Uh, 
Oh, you get color pulled into the reservoir of your water brush pen? I do not have tips for that. I have not experienced that, so I don't know what's happening for you. I'm so sorry that you're having that problem. Um, are you using the Niji, Kurataki Niji brush pen? Because that's what I use. If you're using a different brand, that might be, uh, be um, causing a problem there. Or you could be uh, mixing up too much color, maybe? This is all just speculation here from across the country, so. Any tips for exhibiting uh, for the first time at a con? Well, congratulations, number one, that you're exhibiting at a con. Number two, um, what type, type of ex exhibiting are you doing? Are you an artist? Are you a writer? Are you a vendor? What kind of stuff are you offering at your table? Um, let's see, where can you buy the uh, Kurotake Nichi water brush pen? Uh, I would say do an online search for uh, an art supply store that ships to your part of the world and do a search for Kurataki Niji water brush pen. And hopefully, hopefully that'll get, get you what you're doing. So you're an artist, the person who's going to the uh, exhibiting at the uh, convention. I would say, uh, you know, um, number one, have fun. Uh, take the time to meet the people that are coming by your table. If you're doing commissioned art, don't overcommit. Don't take on a bajillion commissions to where you have to rush or not get them done in time. Make sure you know how long the person's going to be there. Some people are there all weekend. Some people are there just for the day. So when you're making your list, you want to make sure you know who are just the one day people so you get those done in time so you don't have to mail it out to them. So those are just a couple of ideas off the top of my head for um, tips for exhibiting at a convention. And keep your table clean. Have nice display of your art, comics, sketchbooks, prints, whatever. Make sure that's all nicely displayed. You don't want it to look like a, like a last minute garage sale of just stuff just thrown up. And also another thing, be careful with how you display it. Be mindful of your table neighbors. You don't want to put up these big racks that blot out the entire aisle. So be mindful of your table neighbors, in my opinion. Be a good neighbor. And don't have your stuff. I had this one convention where someone's display kept falling into my display. They tried to sell t-shirts and their t-shirt rack kept falling over onto my table. And, um, you know, I understood they were new and so I didn't let it upset me, but it was uh, kind of a first timer mistake. Um, so, so you want to be mindful of, of how your display is set up if it's going to be standing up off the table. But I don't put up displays like that where or at least I haven't yet, no plans in the future to put up displays that are on racks on my table or, well, some cons don't even let you sell t-shirts at uh, in Artist Alley anymore. So a lot of different factors there, but I hope you have a good time and I hope you have a successful convention weekend. This has been Todd Knock Convention Tips. Oh, hey, Hudson from who I saw at San Diego Comic-Con. Glad you're here, man. Hope you're able to get tickets to San Diego two Saturdays ago. When's my reality TV show going to start? I didn't even know I had a reality TV show in the works. Do ballpoint pens work for inking? Um... I don't use ballpoint pens. I don't feel they work for me. I don't know how the ink would work um, for longevity. So I would say if you can make ballpoint pen work for your comic art, more power to you. I would say as an industry standard, not, not, not very common from my experience for those that I know and talk with in the biz. But I always say, you know, if someone can you know, make make the product they like to work with work, you know, they can do professional quality work, 
with like a ballpoint pen or Crayola markers, then yeah, it's unconventional in the industry, but if it looks cool and looks good and you can do professional work, give it a shot. I'm all down for cool stories, cool art. How are you going to WonderCon, Hudson? All right, well, I hope you have a good time. WonderCon's a good con. It's in LA this year, which is different than usual, but I'm sure it'll still be an awesome con. Well, it won't be awesome con, that's a different con, but it will be a or an awesome con. Do I know if I'll be walking around WonderCon on Saturday? I hope to. It all just depends on my deadlines. But if I am, I'll probably post about it on my Twitter or Instagram. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll even be there as Doctor Who. So, so if you see a 10th Doctor walking around, there's a slight chance it might be me. Do I still want to be a Disney Channel sitcom dad? You know, if I weren't drawing comics, that's that's number two on my career idea list. Number three would be hosting a reality TV show. I think that's what someone was referring to earlier about my, my reality TV show. That might be what you're talking about. So, no plans to host a new reality TV show. Or any reality TV show, for that matter. I, I, I am not trained in being a host. I just think it would be a fun job. Like Survivor? That, that looks like it would be fun to host that show. Pull back here, see how this piece is coming together. Have I ever drawn any Dr. Horrible fan art? No, I have not. Not yet, at least. Maybe someday, though. So, this is what we got going on with Batgirl right now. Let's see about getting some, some of these little finer, little tiny details, like buckles and zippers painted in. So I need a much finer tipped brush. Where is that one? There it is. Do I prefer Copic or watercolor? Or are they about the same? No, I, I don't prefer one over the other. I like them both, and I like them both because they are not the same. I get different effects, different experiences, different visuals between the two. And that's why sometimes I do watercolor, and sometimes I do Copic illustrations. Because I like to mix it up. It's fun. What kind of brush am I using? Uh, you must have just tuned in. Welcome to my broadcast. I'm using the Windsor Newton University series. Uh, that fine tip brush there was the number two in the Windsor Newton series, but I've been mostly been using the five, and I'm back to the five now to paint up some buttons here on her cowl, or on her cape, I guess I should say, which kind of connects to the cowl in, in a way, I believe. Am I looking forward to Tony G's next mystery art challenge over there on Comic Vine? Yes, I am. Yes, uh, I think Tony and I will be at, a, at several conventions throughout the uh, throughout the spring, at least. I know we'll both be at uh, Seattle, and I think we'll both be at San Diego. 
I think there was one other one. Oh no, let's see. Hopefully I'll be able to run into him at WonderCon if I show up so I can I can do the WonderCon one. I'll have to let Tony know if I go. We'll have to meet up somewhere. Maybe Norm Ratman's table and do do the um Mystery Art Challenge at WonderCon. Don't want to miss that one. Oh, thank you for the kind words about the last Mystery Art Challenge. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoyed what I did. Appreciate all the support. For me and for the other artists of the Mystery Art Challenge, which is oftentimes Agnes Garboska, Ray Anthony Height, Jim Chung's been joining us past many times, Derek Friedolf, sometimes uh, Sean Galloway, Sean Cheeks Galloway, and Dustin Nguyen, and Joel Gomez. We're pretty much... Oh, and Peter Nguyen as well. We are often the regulars that uh, Tony will invite. Running low on power here, so I gotta plug in my power cord there. What would be good to draw in sample pages? What would be good to draw for sample pages? Uh, that would be a three to five page comic book scene. If you can't think of a comic book scene, take three to five pages of a comic book and retell that story your way. Re choose different camera angles, different layout, different panels, different pacing, and um, and that's a, that's a good way to go as well. Well, thanks for the kind words about Nightcrawler and. Assuming you love the series I had done, when you say you love, you love Nightcrawler. What inspires me to draw every day? The fact that I get to draw every day. I love to draw. I have loved to doing it all my life. And it still inspires me to create something new. To put pencil or paint or marker down on paper and, and make something. Make something happen. So I think we're about on the tail end of this piece here now. I, I am going to have to do a... Uh, a Maybe a background wash another time. Maybe not on video, but uh, yeah, you know, I think we're going to have to stop here because I'm getting hungry. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my Periscope. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching on YouTube. And um, let me flip around here and I'll uh, answer a, a couple more questions if I can. Hey, there we go. We're back. So thanks so much. I'll see if I can answer one or two, maybe three questions at the most here because I got to take off. I got to have dinner. It's almost seven o'clock here on the West Coast. So um, if, so if anyone had a question there, um, I'll do my best to answer a few of these. Like I said, I can't promise. Is there something wrong with my other brushes? Not at all. Not at all. I just like to mix things up and try different things. Have I seen Daredevil yet? No, I still have not watched Daredevil, and season two is about to come out. So I've got, it's in my Netflix queue, along with a bajillion other shows. So um, do, do editors care about sample pages? Uh, yes, because then that shows them that you can um, draw a comic book story. So, yeah. Um, do I watch The Walking Dead? I don't watch Walking Dead, but I do read the comic, though I'm like a year behind on the comic. Um, advice for pricing your work. If you're starting off, talk to other guys who are starting off. See what they're they're charging and uh, and, and kind of float around that range. So find some other artists that are just now starting to exhibit at cons or things like that. And um, that that's that's a would be a good place because I don't really know what a good starting off price is. And also it also depends on a person's artwork. So let's see, I can take one more question here and then we're gonna have to go. Uh, and I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. So, is there any other questions? Let's see. I think someone had just posted Team Cap or Team Iron Man. Uh, can I say Team Both? Can I say Team Both? Uh, team Good Movie, Good Story? I think that that's what I would say. Might lean a little bit more towards Team Cap just because I like Captain America a lot. I also like Iron Man a lot, which makes it really difficult. So... I think longtime Periscope viewers would know that I would say Team Kitty Pride. No matter who it is, Team Cap, Team Iron Man, I'm going to say Team Kitty Pride because 
She's my favorite. All right, gang. So thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Click like on this video and post a comment if you can. And uh, Periscope friends, I hope to see you all again in the near future. Hope you all have a great night and I'll see you all online. Follow me on all my different social networks, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Art of Todd Knock Facebook page. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.